Let's try it again. Let's try it again. New, new, start over. <laughs> new one, new one, new one. New All right. One, one, two, three, rock. Pokemon. Oh. One, two, two three, Geo dude. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> everyone welcome to the pjc cast also known as the proud jacuzzi crew where we do would you rather and other fun things my name is dane and i'm jimmy and today we've got a lot of work to do so let's get to it oh let's get down what to it what are we doing i have a to-do list for you okay i have a to-do list for me i don't have any paper to rustle but if i did oh mine's oh mine looks a lot bigger than yours well, because you're a better boy than i am oh. and you're you're more productive oh. um, but i can delegate I have leadership uh, potential. <laughs> I guess I'll get to work. <laughs> These you, fences aren't going to paint themselves. No. Hey, does yours just say lounging yeah, like five times? Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me. Yes. Oh, there's the at the bottom. It says drink a milkshake. <laughs> Do I have that? Stop reading my list. Oh no, mine. I have my own productivity. Is, is it a is it, is it a prize for me at the bottom of your list? I don't have a list. I only gave you a list. I ate my list. Oh. Whoops. It was delicious. I didn't know you called your list the milkshake. <laughs> yeah, I got like a fence to uh, paint. Uh-huh. I got a lake to dredge. Oh, my God. I got a I'm... salad to eat. Yeah, because you got to be lunch. a healthy boy. That's lunch. And then I have a salad to beat. Because it's been bad. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Why'd you give me this list? <laughs> I don't know. It's just your a own damn salad. <laughs> <laughs> I like a good airy, fluffy salad. <laughs> you gotta get the you air gotta in work there. a lot of air into that salad. Beat it with a couple of forks. Oh, I love Sometimes it. I put milk in my salad just so it's a little extra fluffy. <laughs> before I you gotta cook use it. a trick. You gotta use half and half. You gotta use half and half in your heavy cream in, in your romaine lettuce salads. <laughs> If you <laughs> new game gross salads, <laughs> <laughs> you put your two spoons in, you lift it up, it's all milk, soggy <laughs> soggy lettuce. Hey, hey, what do you what are you drinking there? A salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Looks bad. Like... Bad dressings is the game. It's, the, the, <laughs> it's just one thing. In this instance, it's milk. <laughs> um, in uh college i really liked uh putting cold pasta sauce on my salads what f- flavor pasta sauce yeah oh, pasta like, sauce. like a marinara sauce I forgot like a chunky <laughs> marinara on i salad? was still thinking sa- like like a pasta salad no you didn't say that but i'm like yeah like italian wait what <laughs> go back to the beginning for me <laughs> start over <laughs> one more time once please um, we do do would you rather's here, and we will. We will, eventually. but you have a thing to tell everyone first. Oh yeah, I'm on a, another podcast. I'm on a couple of episodes of another podcast, and you guys, it's a mystery should... what it is. <laughs> no, I'll, I'm about to tell you. <laughs> here it goes. Uh, if you look up Nerd Rage: The Great Debates, you will find I'm on currently two episodes, and maybe even a third maybe. coming up, um, where I argue whether or not. Toy Story is better than Child's Play as a series, and The Greatest American Hero, which is appropriate for the holiday that just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yeah. Late. we're late. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, look look me up there. There are a bunch of funny folks over there. Check Dane out. Check them out. Yeah. Uh, great. Nerd Rage. Nerd Rage. No, not great. It's, I, mean, I mean, they're great. No! No! <laughs> Nerd Rage, the great debate. That's the one. If you just look up Nerd Rage, I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm a fool. But I'm on there. But we will do Would You Rathers in just a second after a word from our sponsor. Hello, this is uh, Teenage Joe coming at you, taped, not live, from the uh, Tri-County Mall 
here to tell you about Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. I'm wearing them. You're wearing them. Teenagers We're all wearing across them. the nation loving their three hundred dollar Jinko jeans. They're three hundred. and Everyone has a pair. You might be thinking to yourself, if everyone has a pair, why am I here? Well, get another one. Buy idiot, more. Stupid. Buy another Just buy one. Buy more. It's this has been a message. Hi, I'm Bob Jinko. This is my son, <laughs> Teenage G- Joe. Teenage Joe That's Jinko. Me. I'm Teenage Joe. And and my my boy may sound like he's a actu- actuarial for an insurance company, but he's the real teenage boy. And I'm cool with the kids that are my age. So buy our goddamn jeans, damn it. They're big at the bottom so that you can hide your drugs in there. <laughs> So that you can take a shit and no one will know. Junior. <laughs> fall right out. Dad, I'm just telling it like it is. I'm a cool, hip boy. All right. If the kids are into swears these days. I'm 13 <laughs> years old. 13 years young I'm and I'm loving life. I'm a teenager. I've changed my name forever to Teenage Joe. Dad. And you can't stop me. All right, Junior. But we named the dog in <laughs> Buy our pants. Buy our pants. Our first Would You Rather comes to us from Julie on Facebook, and Julia asks, would you rather be able to turn into a cat or a snake? I thought <laughs> that the person that gave us this Would You Rather was named Julian Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> the real creator of Facebook. <laughs> Julian. Uh, would you rather be able to turn into a cat or a snake? Was that the question? That's right. Weren't you listening? I got distracted. Listen better. Okay. I put up my fucking horn, my ear horn to my ear. Hey there, Sonny. (laughs) What was that, would you rather? Could you tell me? I'm a trifle deaf. I got Jinko jeans stuffed in my ear hole. They were $300, so I bet they would work for hearing loss. They're such an inconvenience, but they're the best money I've ever spent. Jinko jeans. Buy them, will you? And that was a word from our second sponsor, Old People Hearing Aids Uh, by Jinko Jeans. Teenage Hearing Aids. Teenage Joe's (laughs) Hearing Aids. Good for your pants. Good for your ears. What aren't they good for? Heightened drugs. A cat. Or a a snake. snake. Uh, They're for humans only. Wink. Um, Pros of being a cat. You get to be lazy. You get to sleep all night. Oh, man. Yesterday, I learned the word for their sleeping patterns, because they're only awake during the dusk and the dawn. And when we're f- we humans are fucking with them, <laughs> which is right. often. Yeah, cats are awake a lot. And asleep a, a lot. lot. I feel like they just sort of sleep whenever they can. But that that's a human intervention of a sort. Crepuscular. That's deer making stuff. That's up. a real word. That sounds like a type of punk. They're animals that are awake during the twilight and the untwilight. <sighs> the de twilight. The, the twilight. The road to dawn, Kingdom Hearts. Crepuscular animals are those that are active during primarily during twilight. This is distinguished from diurnal and nocturnal behavior, where an animal is active during the hours of daylight or hours of darkness, respectively. Scientists, I know we've we have uh, used up most of the words crepuscular, but like, come on with that crepuscular. <laughs> that needs a shortening. You're wrong. Scientists, get one. your head out of the dictionary. Snakes. There's probably crepuscular, crepuscular snakes as well. I think there's just crustacean snakes. They're, <laughs> what? They're crab snakes. Oh, the firefly's crepuscular. That makes sense. Because why else? You need how could you need to see it? Uh, uh, if it's just out in the daytime, fuck you, I guess. Echidnas are also. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. It's just another firefly. That's a fucking a Wikipedia edit brought to you by Teenage Joe, who is a Sonic fan extraordinaire, because of course he is. <laughs> Teenage He's Joe. playing Sonic Adventure on the original Dreamcast in his Jinko jeans, drinking a Surge <laughs> with a skateboard, like, at propped up next to his low chair. But also wears, like, a knit tie 
and like has a calculator for doing accounting work. on his on his wrist on his wrist but it's the whole deal it, it prints out the cool. receipt pages it's the whole the whole deal and he's got like the peggy hill glasses cat. but he's 13 i'm looking up cat crepuscular <laughs> but you know that they are but it didn't say it what google cat sleeping it said l- lions are lions are yes, vicious yeah okay good 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 good, good <laughs> you were like good, good, i don't want to be a fool in front of the entire internet yeah, listen i don't want if i'm not right science. on the internet where can i be right no uh, nowhere yeah you just get Same. to be wrong forever snakes they bite slithery they slither not all of them bite but they all want to <laughs> are you not a snake man they all want to bite you no, they don't. They're all like, I'm too scared. I got a bite. I, I need to go up. Even if they're little. How many snakes have you encountered IRL, Jim? Uh, Maybe like a uh, thousand. <laughs> Two thousand? Give or take a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Like, give or take, like, a few million. couple. In the ballpark Are of Are you actually St. Patrick from Ireland and you drove the snakes out of Ireland? Is that what you're saying? Yes, that's right. This is the St. Patrick's Day episode. <laughs> oh, to 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 How dare I ruin Ireland of all its <laughs> snakes? I, I hear that's actually a metaphor for him, like, killing all the witches. <laughs> what are witches, if not snakes? Yeah, there you go. Um, snakes... Snakes are pretty cool. They shed their skin, which is really fun. They can grow forever. Do they? No. Depending on it, well, how big of a bowl you put them in. Yeah. That's how big they grow. Just like goldfish. Yeah. Big of a a bowl. A bowl, you said. Yeah, okay. that's right. You got my joke. Good. I thought you said a bull. And I was just like, what? Oh, okay. Uh, I worked it out. If you feed a snake a large enough animal, say a bull. Yeah. They will grow to be that big. To it's, eat that's it. just how energy dispersal works. Works. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, you know, because that's, that's real with goldfish, though, for real, real. Like, you put them in an enormous tank, and they'll just grow yeah. to the size of that. It's not for fake fake. Which is fucking so bizarre and buck wild to me. Yeah. Because, like, why do they have, what's, what purpose does that serve? Um, evolutionarily we like bred them to be weird i don't think there's goldfish in the wild but where would goldfish live somewhere (laughs) Somewhere i don't think goldfish is the official term i'm pulling a lot of statements out of my (laughs) bubble you really are i feel like i feel like there's called something else but under the umbrella of a goldfish Uh uh-huh or like the sun fish have you heard about that one Mm -mm. oh i might be getting the name of the fish wrong fleshy one it's the yeah, it's That's the big so one huge. that has like no brains. Yeah. And like seals will just eat it and they'll just go and they don't care. They'll just have these big bite marks out of them. <laughs> and they they're just the most pointless animal ever. <laughs> Aren't they covered in a mucus also? I don't know, probably. Sounds about right cuz that makes them grosser than ever. One person I used to uh, go out with romantically. Oh. Uh I was driving in a car with her and her father and her mother romantically no we were just all in a car together a sexy car nope it's just a regular car (laughs) just driving um and i asked her her dad what what animal in the world he'd want to be and he said sunfish and everyone's (laughs) like Oh, that big one? And he's like, yeah, he's covered in mucus. And we're all like, gross. <laughs> Why? And he's like, I don't know. I just really identify with them. And I'm like, okay, dude. I identify with just the worst animal. She didn't like that I asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a her problem. Yeah, it was. <laughs> She's like, that was weird to ask my dad that. And I'm like, no, we weren't talking about nothing. I wanted to do- Start a conversation, for God's sakes. And you were just trying to light a, a literal fire in the car with yeah. sticks and uh, what? an axe and a Wait, flint. What was I doing? No, she was. Oh, she was. And you were trying to switch uh, modes by asking about animals. I didn't start the fire. Yeah, Elmo did. <laughs> from, from, from Sesame Street. Yeah. St. Elmo's fire. Uh, Dane's looking at me so questionably, but yeah. it makes sense. You had to you had to walk me through that 
<laughs> a whittle biddle. <laughs> um, Elmo, Elmo, <laughs> start the fire. Elmo. That's what I thought. Saint Elmo. I'm religious. <laughs> oh boy. I'm a. I'm a. What is? What does he makes you a saint? Is that? Is that a Catholic thing? Yeah. I'm. I'm Pope Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> There it is. Well, first you're a deacon. <laughs> deacon Elmo. I worked my way up the ranks. And then you're Bishop Elmo or something. I don't know. I don't know. Catholicism. <laughs> Talk to me about Unitarians. There was there was smoke in a chimney and here I am, yeah. Pope Elmo. <laughs> it was red smoke, so I came out. <laughs> I just assumed. They made a monster, the Pope. <laughs> It's like that fucking picture of Elmo where he's just like, there's a fire behind him and he's like, my time has come! (laughs) Elmo! I'm here to lead the world. (laughs) Mm. Uh, Cats. Oh, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I knew you were going to pick a cat. Cats are just, a cat could kill a snake, probably. Cats can kill snakes. A snake could eat a cat, but a cat wouldn't allow that to happen. That's how I feel. Mm. (laughs) If I was a snake, I'd want to be a giant snake in the Amazon. Constrictor boa. No, like a python. Python I'd want to be a giant python. Like, I wouldn't have to worry about a lot. Just a bigger python that could eat you. I don't think pythons eat pythons. But it could. How do they fit? (laughs) Uh, Snugly. (laughs) (laughs) It's like stuffing a hot dog with a hot dog. (laughs) Yeah. Double the hot dog. (laughs) Delicious. You're going to need a bigger bun. <laughs> is a hot dog with a hot dog bun. Sorry. A hot dog with a bun that is a hot dog is what I mean. A sandwich. I think that's a pile of meat. <laughs> I think that's a messy, loose pile of meat. <laughs> It'd be a tight pile of meat. I think that's a floppy, <laughs> greasy, gross pile of meat that you just described. Uh, but then you put that in another hot dog. Right. Right. And then sandwich that with some Spam. A deep dish pizza. (laughs) Now that's what I call a taco. Anyways. (laughs) Um, I think if if I was a snake, I would be a giant snake. If If I was was a a cat. (laughs) All day long I see you see him. If I was a a snakey man. man. And he goes crazy. And I don't know the words, but they're probably just the same again. Never have to work hard. Idle deedle 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 Um, If I was a snake, uh, if I was a cat. Uh huh. If I was a cat, I'd probably. I think I want to be a giant snake. I don't know if I want to be a cat. What if you were a giant cat? A lion. <laughs> If I was a cat, I'd want to be a cat the size of a building. That's pretty big. That's a Clifford-sized cat. Yeah, I'd want to be a Clifford-sized cat, but I'd want to be the color green, like mm-hmm. a snake. <laughs> and I would have scales, and like I a wanna... snake, and no arms, <laughs> and no tail. And I want big, like, like teeth. That... You're going to be a building-sized snake. That's right. You mean like the King Kong of snakes? I want to be a King Kong of snakes. A snake kaiju. There's never be... been a snake kaiju, unless there has been. Don't at me. Snake Kong. <laughs> I would be Snake Kong. Snake Kong. And I would get around using the subway systems. And they're like, how is there? How is the snake getting around the city? And then and you say, like, snuggly. Oh, it's the. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to need a bigger bun. <laughs> I like the idea that instead of the subway, you have. Uh, a little jetpack. What? <laughs> Carries your snake around. Why would a little jetpack move well, it's like, a giant snake around, it's, Jimmy? It's, Just it's think big of the logistics. Get, it's big enough to get around you. What? You said a little jetpack. It's pack. little relative to your body. Well, anything's little relative to my body. I'm as giant as a giant house. Yeah, so it's like, it'll wrap around you, but you're so long, but that that's enough is what I want. <laughs> It's like it picks you up in the middle and then it flies you around. The rest of you just so hanging down. So you want an down. appropriately sized jetpack. Why did you say little? Because it's little compared to all of you. It's still little. If you're like a hundred feet long, it's like a foot. I feel if it was a little jetpack, I would need a series of little jetpacks along my entire long body. Yeah. To propel me through the air. 
What so if, how about, we just won. How about instead of that, they're all drones. They're drones picking uh, up. Okay, see, now we're getting to it. Now they, we're getting grapple down to the underneath. nitty gritty. And then they pull you up and they land you in battle where you are then mostly immobile against other threats. <laughs> <laughs> the scientist that created me in a lab, the Dane Snake. The Dane Snake. The Giga Dane Snake. Giga Dane Snake Mon. <laughs> That sounds like a Digimon, which I hate. It could be a Pokemon. It could be. Um, Digivolve. His other uh, hobby, besides creating monstrosities of nature, is uh, drone flying. Yeah. And so he's like, how am I going to get my hobbyist. good, sweet, giant boy around this city to wreak havoc? I'll, I'll string up all of my drones to its big, fleshy body. It's a good thing I have a thousand drones. I have a thousand drones, and I know how to hook them all up. I'm an early adopter, though, so they're all first model. They're kind of old. <laughs> and they they kind of make a da, 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 sound. <laughs> they're like hitting, hitting something. Something little's hitting in there, and Ooh. they're not the most efficient. But hey, I'm on a budget. I'm a independent mad scientist. I'm a mad scientist, so I've I've lost my funding. They said I was crazy, and I am. I've tried to make up some of my expenses by exploiting my son, Teenage Joe. Oh, no. In his, in his gene-selling right. uh, adventure. Em- empires. Empire. Uh, so we now know where all the money from the Jinko genes went. Kaiju. It went to giant yeah. kaiju snakes. From kaiju. To, it's, a, it's a money laundering scheme. At the top of the funnel, kaiju. At the bottom of the funnel, Jinko genes. Jinko genes. Um... <laughs> What's our next segment? Hello, my name uh, <laughs> is Teenage Joe, and I'm gonna read you the uh, next segment. Joe, I'm so. <laughs> How, wait, if you, I feel like you're about to tell me what my taxes are. After that, I'll read you the <laughs> the the next segment. But first, I need to tell you about these great deals. Have you this previous Fourth of July raised the American flag? Yes. What if instead of that? It was a pair of your favorite Jinko jeans. Mm. You raise them up all the way and show America how much you love America. Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. What's our next segment? I'm going to turn it back <laughs> to Jimmy now. And he's going to thank you, uh, Teenage Joe. Mary, it's, uh, it's Lonely Hearts. It's Lonely, lonely Hearts. Not Mary Fuck it's Kill. Not Mary it's Fuck Lonely kill. Hearts. It's Where lonely we take hearts. two online personal ads, we read them out loud to you fine people, and then we discuss whether or not those two people would fall in love with each other. Uh, I'm first on the dock this week. Boats. <laughs> it's a boats joke. Well, the boat was reference. I don't know how much of a joke there was in there. If the, I laughed. The punchline isn't <laughs> the boats. <laughs> if you could come up with a legit setup <laughs> where the punchline is boats, <laughs> more power to you, Jimmy. Uh, I heard she got married. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> boats! You just gave in, oh yeah, and then well, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed I, to say? I heard she got married. <laughs> Mazel top. I don't know. What's the setup? You gotta lead me a little I bit better there, I, buddy. <laughs> it's how a joke is made. Alright, here's a here's a here's a joke. Okay. Two uh married couples walk into a bar. Oh yeah? <laughs> Just kidding, it was a boat. <laughs> What's your lonely heart? <laughs> Date's so upset with me. Oh, boy. How long are we doing this podcast, making jokes? <laughs> you know what a joke is, right? I've heard of them. <laughs> My lonely heart is 27 male for female, title of which is Let's Hoard Dogs Together. Ooh. Not hot dogs. That would <gasps> hot have dogs. been too appropriate. Hot dogs! All right. Here he goes. <laughs> Want to raise a pack? Title is pretty self-explanatory. I'm all for having all kinds of animals running around everywhere. It sounds like fun to me. So you're all... F- so if you're all for adopting a bunch of jobs... <laughs> 
bunch of dogs to share your bed. The more pibbles, the better. Pibbles? Oh, I don't pit know what else. It's baby No. Pit oh, is it? Maybe. Maybe it's a crossbreed. I don't know. Well, it says pibbles. Uh, I'm the guy for you. Sadly, as of now, I don't have any pets. But. Fucking <laughs> poser. Period. Hopefully, uh, come winter, I'll rescue a pit. I have a soft spot for this breed simply because of their suffering that comes with their infamy. There are basically, those are basically muscular lap dogs using them for fights, breeding. I'm going off topic. <laughs> anyway, hi! Oh. I love tattoos, coffee, and writing code. I'm probably addicted to coffee and tattoos. I strive to cover my body, minus the neck and face. Those can... In coffee. <laughs> Those can hurt work chances. And I take my coffee black, preferably Turkish. I make a mean cup of coffee. Want to try? Get to know me. I enjoy heavy literature. So like <laughs> dictionaries. Like it's like the encyclopedia. <laughs> Thank you, Teenage Joe. Hello, I'm here to help. And film in my spare time. I read a lot of Palinik and Mirakami. Pal yeah, Chuck, I don't know Chuck Pal Palinik. Okay, or whatever. Uh, the former for the heavy shit, and the latter for the get lost in its surrealism. My favorite author is Tolkien, and I even have the One Ring tattooed on my leg. What Cthulhu on the second one? I mean, you gotta know who Cthulhu is, uh, right? Am I right? Because Cthulhu. Cthulhu is so great. He's so great, and I everybody it. loves him. I hate it. God, well, that's a that's a conversation for another time. The Cthulhu fan base is a is a whole kettle of fish, isn't it, James? Summary. <laughs> no, we don't. Overrated. Need to, we don't. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I mean, separating creator from uh, subject is anyway. Oh, I'm a starting web developer, looking for work in the crazy vast world that is tech around here. I think you forgot it was a. <laughs> fucking romance ad. Maybe. I recently graduated college, and I'm on an intensive job hunt. To pay for my escapism needs, I work a shitty office security job. It's a place for Im immense mental anguish, and a close person talking with me then is a huge help. I don't understand what that was. Like but. what a, a, lo a lonely heart pair would be for them at this boring oh, job? Oh, I see, I see, Maybe? I see. I am a former military coming... F I am former military coming from a combat unit, and let me tell you, ants in your beard is not that bad. Oh, oh. I... Also, I'm... digging holes to sleep in. Hell of a good night's sleep! This guy's guy all over the place. Wow. Uh, anyway, here's a few facts about me. I think that's what we were doing just now. Um, number one, I speak three languages and starting to study my fourth one. I put a hell of a lot of lemon in my tea. I like it. Lemony. Don't judge me. Who would judge what you? A thing. What, are, what are you talking about? What a defense for that. Number three. Number three. Fact about this man. I will not steal your kidney. Jokes. Oh. He's got jokes. He's got the jokes. Mm. I don't know if he knows how jokes work, but he's he's being a funny. So you just say boats, and then it makes everything <laughs> funny. That's how jokes work. Boats. Number four. Boats. 420. <laughs> Here's me. Links to a picture. Uh, pretend my inbox is a rich, <laughs> oil-rich country and invade it. Oh. Ah. Uh, no, I, I like that. I, I'm down for it. I don't like... The, anyways he's self-aware he understands he's like i mean that that is that is a good joke i just the in fact the the thought of invading somebody's dms is like <laughs> ugh. Ugh. but also he's a military guy also he's got the a the, sick the word humor. oil yeah. so now i'm just thinking that everyone's on a big slip and slide fucking <laughs> into someone's dms slip and slide, slide into right DMs. into him um so this guy uh pretty exhaustive um, yeah, he's got, he, he gives his likes. I do appreciate that it's not all dislikes. Like, I don't think he really said things that like, you can't be like this. I hate women that speak their mind. Yeah. Nothing like that. Um, 
likes the tattoos, likes animals. It's pretty well-rounded, if not, yeah. you know. Uh, I, 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 don't, don't I don't hate pers- it. I don't personally agree with the Cthulhu stuff, but, you know, that's not the end of the world. Uh-oh. What? Cthulhu is going to bring back about the end of the world, oh, though. Ah, ah. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, oh, I didn't mention that he prefers Turkish coffee, which is, uh, that's some pretty intense coffee. What does that mean? Um, it's just a different way of making coffee. It's it, like a really intense way of making coffee. Like you have to drive through to the, Turkey, yeah, for each cup, every time for each drop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that sweet, sweet Joe. <laughs> um, it is very sweet. They put a lot of condensed milk in there. It's delicious. Um, for military, I I feel like this is a a really great personal ad. It's a solid. It's 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 not bad. He's like, this is what I got. Perhaps the formatting could use a little bit of work. But, he, well, that's that's editorializing. But that's nitpicky. He uh, he he seems like he's uh, really a curious person. Like he's studying both another language and he's studying coding and he's got a job. Like, yeah, that's bad. Uh, I fuck him. I'd, 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 I'd give him a shot. <laughs> A shot in the arm. All right, well, mine's a robot. <laughs> what? Um, well, not really, but the title is 31 Male for Female Midwest. Title, uh, 1988 Classic Boyfriend for Sale, Low Miles. Great buy. Hmm. Oh, I see what they're doing. Uh, now, I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna let you guide me here. Do I read this as a, as a car salesman that isn't Joe Teenager <laughs> or a robot man? Robot man. All right. You already did Joe. Let's do... And Joe's around. He'll be back. Yeah. Probably. He'll come by boat. Um, ni- 1988 SE boyfriend available for immediate sale. Slightly used. <laughs> if interested, please inquire. Details below. Model. Caucasian. Gender. Male. Quantity. One. Previous owners. Six. Beep boop beep boop. Previous owners. That's... that's I, even in the canon of this joke, yeah. it's like, ooh. It's a little rough. I was... Um, well, maybe he's a sub. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Accessories, Xbox, gaming PC, sleep number mattress, ooh. Nespresso machine, okay. Starbucks Visa credit card, four-star rewards, status, single. No kidding. Age 31, hair, short brown hair. <laughs> no, <laughs> hair, short brown. <laughs> I would like to retract my previous uh, my previous comment about being sing- single because sometimes folks in polyamorous relationships are on here and sometimes straight up cheaters are on here. So him saying single is appreciated. All right. That's good. Vision, bad. <laughs> There's contacts and glasses, blue eyes, special skills, <laughs> puts toilet seat down after use. Oh. Natural fear of clowns. Skillful. It's a special skill. It's a special skill to be afraid of a clown. Uh, training, self-cleaning, cooking, high fives. Oh. Personality, personality, funny, genuine, probably not a potato. Probably. Known defects, none. Oh, dear. Runs on Thai food and hamburgers with cheese. Oh, also tacos. Habitat, Midwest, cohabitation, none. And then he breaks the fucking... The, oh, no. The, what, what is it in wrestling? What do you call it? Uh, uh, kayfabe. The kayfabe. He breaks the kayfabe and, and says in parentheses, no roommates. To fucking indicate what that robot joke means. Uh, last rotation, two months ago. What's this, mm-hmm. What? Maybe been single? That one's unclear. That one needed parentheses. Yeah, that one needed some parentheses. Um, Compatible with unknown, preferably compatible with someone who enjoys talking slash texting on a regular and daily basis. Annual checkup, technician's report, future outlook is bright. Known allergies, mildly allergic to roosters, goes away after a day? What? (laughs) What? Good to know. Don't bring bring your rooster to the first date. (laughs) Bring it to the second date. I'll be good by the third date. Uh, finances, low debt, good bank balance, good paying job. Movies, yes, no clowns. Dinner, preferably with the opposite sex. TV, The Office, anything on Netflix, HBO Now, Hulu, or Amazon Prime. 
Cloned? No. Original model? Yes. <laughs> what? Languages? English, HTML, and my favorite part about this whole thing, sex? Yes. Oh, boy. He f- made his Powers own joke. sex fill-in and wrote yes into it. Programmable? Yes. Condition? A few dents. Awkward addiction to tacos. Price? Best offer. Oh. That's it. Owners. That's all. Hmm. Six owners. Six previous owners. Hmm. This is a, a tact. This is a, a way. Yeah, it's a, it's a gimmick. He's got his gimmick going. He's not as straight a shooter. He's a car... Sh- it's just, this is Kit from Night Rider. Yeah. <laughs> after, like, six seasons after What's-His-Bucket left, swim, uh, Hasselhoff. Yeah. He's like, I need a new... I need a new driver. <laughs> I, I don't think that... I mean, I think our, our uh, military boy um, has a good sense of humor, but I don't, I don't know. This this one seemed a little like around beating around the bush it's, about it. It's, it's too much. It's it, maybe he's fine, but it's a lot. Yeah, he, there there were no real red flags in what he said. Um, but I am not attracted to the ad. I guess I'll remember it for the rest of my life, <laughs> but I won't. I wouldn't contact him. Um, yeah. What would they find in common, though? Uh, it's hard to say because he didn't really didn't say talk likes, about coffee. He didn't really say he likes, likes tacos. He likes the office. Oh, that's not a personality. <laughs> that's my favorite new meme that's going around. That uh, show's old. Yeah, but people are watching it as a like a feel good. Remember The Office? Yeah. Remember Pepperidge Farms? Uh, the Office remembers. Pepperidge Farm remembers The Office. Um, it's a vicious cycle. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh, they might do all right. I don't know. There's nothing offensive about either of them. Honestly, I don't think the first guy would find the second guy to be that interesting. He's, a, he's looking for a human person. Yeah. Not a car. That's true. Also, or a robot, yeah, or a robot, robot, hmm, robot. Not a lot of funny things to say about these two. You know, one of them. Okay, what if he? So he's a robot car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which now I'm imagining like a car centaur, like a robot sure. uh, coming out of the hood. Beautiful. We've done um, that before. Yeah. Have we? Yeah. Oh, car centaur. It's an unoriginal idea. It's a, no, it, but it's it's on brand. So good. we're good. We're on track. Uh, and he he pulls up. Honks his horn, which is him. <laughs> Just presses his belly button. The other guy, yeah, the other guy comes out, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, for me." And he hops in the driver's seat, right? And the guy's like, "Whoa, no, baby, that's... I got that covered. This is just a first date." Well, also, isn't that very forward to go inside of somebody? Yeah, but he was invited. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then they drive off a cliff oh my God. onto a trampoline, ah. which bounces them on the other side of the cliff, like some sort of puzzle game. <laughs> or an evil Knievel. Yeah. A trampoline evil Knievel. Did he of, die from stunts? puzzles. Uh, Is he alive? Is he real life? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But he could be centaur evil Knievel robot car, man. And that's a good first date, if you ask me. A few thrills, a few kills, and then you're off. You tuck yourselves into bed separately. He died in 2007. What happened? Um, Was he too evil? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't say. In this, in this, uh, at a glance. At a glance, he's not alive. His son's doing stunts. Anyways, yeah, I think they'll go on. I think they'll have a few good dates, but maybe not forever. Uh, diabetes. Oh, that's not very extreme. No. <laughs> <laughs> and and something else. Y'all eat some vegetables. <laughs> but nothing. Something fibrosis. Oh. Oh. Pulmonary no. fibrosis. Oh no. I don't know what that is. It sounds uh, scary. That sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound romantic or sexy. It's a lung disease. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He uh he suffered for a long time. <laughs> every uh 
Every day was a challenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you brought us down this road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think these two are going to find love with each other. But they'll have a fun time. They might, yeah. They'll, uh, they'll get to... I think they'll be good friends. They'll go to the movies. The drive-in movies. Hey. <laughs> Centaur. What we got next? Is it more robots? You know, in a way, it is. Good. Because we're going to be doing uh, the segment that we did last week uh, with our good friend, the, the Would You Rather bot. I love them. Yeah, so uh, there's a there's a Twitter profile called the Would You Rather Bot who um, comes up with Would You Rather's based on a neural net. It's it's a lot of computer made Would You Rather's. So our first uh, Would You Rather from the Would You Rather Bot is Would You Rather the sound of fire or fart powers? <laughs> Ooh, fart powers! I can uh, send a sniper bullet fart. <laughs> I was thinking you just like hover or like launch yourself oh, or clear a room. You're like a 90s era superhero fart. Fart man. man. With the power of fart. To blow your mind with a <laughs> fart. Oh man, you that could be like a psychic fart power. Psychic fart power. You blow someone's mind. <laughs> That I mean, it it would look like a psychic, but it would in fact be a fart air that like, I can control. Can I control other people's farts? Maybe <gasps> it's fart powers, I man. Love fart powers. That I'm like great. I'm like a, I'm like Magneto, but farts. Unfortunately, we are in the minority in this situation because 55 percent uh, of the 422 votes wanted the sound of fire. Man, which is weird. How's it? What's it like to it's be? It's very wrong? relaxing. Like it's a very relaxing Christmas thing, but... day. Has sure. That. Uh, would you rather yes or no? I love that. That's straightforward. That's also I love. Sometimes I wonder about this neural net thing because mm. sometimes they feel too too on the nose, but then sometimes they're just so wild that I can't I can't believe it. But this is like like it knows what an opposite is and it did it correctly. I love that. I'd but rather yes, y- yes or no, comma. I love that. Oh. Oh, you didn't... Oh. It was not me editorializing. It's, would you rather yes or no? I love that. Oh, you led me down a hole and now I feel like a fool. (laughs) I didn't know. I would rather... No, I love that uh, because I'm from California. (gasps) Where yes means no and no means... No, no, no. Yes. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. So, uh, what would what about or you? Or for all Shia LaBeoufs, no, 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 no. Would you rather no or yet yeah, or? <laughs> I think yes is more positive. Well, you sir are incorrect because eighteen percent versus eighty-two percent incorrect. <laughs> out of three hundred sixty votes, oh. um, would you rather die a beach or eat a car after a dog? A diet like a color dye. Mm-hmm. D y e. That's pretty nice. I can so, make green water. Yeah. Or or how like, much food coloring? <laughs> take how much to get the whole ocean? I mean, it would have to. I I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to like hurt the environment. I like the earth. Is I die, know it's an unpopular bad? opinion. I to mean, love, it can't be the good. Earth. You can die a cupcake, and it's fine. One cupcake. But a whole beach, bro? The whole ocean. That's all. <laughs> you start at the beach and then you just keep filling right. until it stops washing away. That can't be good. It'll The fish will be co- so extra colorful. Oh, yeah? It's going to be great. Well, you know, 87% of people would rather die a beach out of 315 votes. That's so so that, I'd so rather eat a car, I guess. <laughs> After a dog? Yeah. After a dirty dog? <laughs> Eats that car? Sure. Would you rather be very sad or think you are? Uh, I'd rather actually not be sad. But just think you're sad? Yeah. See, I, I'm not sad. I would rather actually be sad. Um, because then it would go away cleaner in my head. Like, if I just think I'm sad, then it's, like, very confusing. But you won't know the difference. 
Well, then what's the difference between them? Because you're actually happy. But then, no, I wouldn't because I think I'm sad. You think you're sad. That's pretty fucked up if I'm like, hey, everyone, I'm super sad. Like, that sounds psychotic. Well, so, that's the thing is the situation you presented is psychotic. Well, you said. How often do you, you said, whether you're sad or you think you're sad, you're like, hey, guys. Well, because you're actually happy, you said. So if you're actually happy well, and means, you think you're sad, you're like, oh, man, th- what a great day. I'm so sad. You've never you never had that happen where like I've had it. I've had it happen where like I'm like, oh, this thing upsets me. And then I like stew on it for a minute and I'm like. That's fine, actually. <laughs> so that's what I imagine this is. I'd rather actually be sad and work through my true emotions. Does that mean something caused a sadness? I think that's more my point. Oh, I see what you're going for. Like, there's nothing sad that happened. Mm-hmm. You just think you're upset about something. 72% of people would rather think they were sad ah. out of 424 votes. That's, uh, the, that's a good... That's always the number. It's mm, that number. Would you rather wake up to a public country... Or ship a third game. I love games. Mm-hmm. That I'm I'm gonna interpret this as I've made two other games. I'm gonna ship the third game out, and to pub to the publisher, and then they're gonna make a bunch of them. So you're you're like a game man. I'm a game man. I'm a game boy. <laughs> I'm. Do, do, do. Do, 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 what is his name? Do. I forgot his name. Teenager Joe. Teenager Jim. What Joe? Yeah, Teenage Joe, teenage that's right. Teenage Joe. <laughs> Here to ship my third Jinko jeans video game. <laughs> it's like, it's like Chex Quest, but with jeans. <laughs> it's like Chex Quest. It's free, it comes in your cereal, and, and it's it, denim. And it also comes in your jeans. <laughs> it comes in your jeans. Just like Teenage Joe, comes in your jeans. <laughs> Dad, I thought you wouldn't tell anybody about my night, my nocturnal. My emissions. son comes in your jeans. <laughs> Dad, no. His, he, him, and his game. Dad, I'm proud of my son shipping his third game and coming in your jeans. Dad, st- stocks are falling. Jinko! Stocks are falling by this moment. Jinko! I made a giant snake. Dad, please, please stop, Dad. <laughs> Dad, you're embarrassing me. Um, in front of I'd my rather friends. wake up to a public country because this country is being privatized too fast. Politics. Dad, you gotta cool it with those uh, those opinions. <laughs> Would you rather rainbow crisps or chicken eating chili? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting the fucking hard knocks on this one. Ooh, I love chicken. I love chili, but also the sound of a rainbow crisp sounds amazing. Now, Jimmy, keep in mind, this is a chicken eating chili. A chicken eating chili. <laughs> it's not you eating ch- chicken That's chili. like stuffing in a turkey. No, it's... It, chicken eating chili. You no, know, you're just watching a, a, a hen peck at a bowl of chili. No, I'm going to eat it. What? I'm Why? It. Wait. Their food. Yeah, well, chicken is food, but how are you going to eat that chicken? I'm gonna cook it. How? Uh, Deep fry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that way, the chili remains in the belly. Oh, gross. <laughs> and it just the chili flavoring seeps through all the. Oh, organs. that's not how. Belly, that's not how. <laughs> that's how cooking works. I'd rather rainbow crisps because <clears throat> that sounds like fun. Um, seventy-nine percent of people would rather rainbow crisps out of. It 200. sounds more. 94 fun and fantastical but more practical deep fried chicken that was eating chili jimmy answer me this one okay would you rather be able to fly or only be able to fly (laughs) (laughs) uh you know i think uh i think uh the first one you know uh you know with jinko jeans you can everyone has the power of flight just anyway Hitting um, that Jinko jean This well is Jimmy hard. saying that. I, I'm wearing mine, and I'm wearing mine. Going right back now. to the jean, the, the denim well. The jean well. <laughs> Pulling up those those blue threads. You're the best genist. I'm the best genist. I think I'd be able, I'd rather be able to fly instead of only being able to fly. <laughs> I can't feed myself. I can't <laughs> bathe myself. All, All I can fly. do is fly. I can't speak. I can't think. I can just fly. I am the spirit of the wind. I'm like a bird. <laughs> I fly away. I don't know where my home is. I'm just a fly boy. Would you rather be your ass or have a job that can kill? 
<laughs> the oh, I'm a James Bond. Or I'm a coal miner and my job can kill oh. me. Oh no. Or I'm a I don't want to kill a poison tester. I'm the, I'm the guy in the king's court that That's tests right. that eats their food. That's right. It's me. But I'm good at it. I get paid a lot. I get in the good quarters because my job is so stressful. I might die every meal. You know? Yeah. I don't want that job. I would rather be an ass because uh, I like sitting myself. So I'll be the it's thing that helps people sit. on you. Yeah, it's okay. Your ass. Uh, me, the ass. My own ass. We got one more? Um, would you rather... You see God people or be with family. <laughs> uh, God, God, oh, I'm people. sorry. Uh, 56% of people would rather have a job that kills, which uh, yeah, James Bond shows just James Bond, to show uh, court jester out of uh, 200, uh, excuse me, 425 votes. It's always the same people. What? It's what almost 420 every time. What are you talking about? The, the vote on it. Oh, I missed one. I skipped one. How fucking could and dare you? I skipped two after the flying one. Read one of them. Well, well, let's do the God people. Um, yeah, that, is that like is that like Zeus? I'd rather see God people because then I'd know there was a higher power, and that's and if you don't see cool. God people, then you know, and because it's not God, it's God people. Yeah. So like, it's like it's like the I feel like that's the Greek gods, the Roman gods, maybe like Hera. <laughs> Uh, Fuda, Archimedes, is that one? Nope. Who flo- Who has the flying shoes? Oh, um, isn't that Archimedes? No, it's not Archimedes. Archimedes, Archimedes is the owl. <laughs> no, that's no! not. Even, no, that's. He's not even the owl. <laughs> What's the owl's name? <laughs> he's a mathematician, Archimedes. Um, what? What's the owl's the name? Owl, in the thing? Yes, it's Archimedes, but the owls was named after a real person. Oh, <laughs> and that person was a god person, a math god. You're thinking of Hermes. Hermes has the feet that's, on his sand, or the wings on his sand. He has the feet on his wings. Arca the, Hermes. That's right. <laughs> I would rather see god people. I've been with my family before; they're great, and but god people I've never seen, so I'd like to see them. Yeah, fifty-seven percent of people would rather be with their family out of three hundred forty-eight votes. You, um, you do what you know. You do what you know. Okay, you can answer one of these. I'm going to read read them both. <laughs> okay. Would you rather a warehouse of chips or Squirtle, <laughs> or would you rather use a type of toast or a tissue? That makes you extra for five minutes. Oh, that's very tough. I'm inclined to go with Squirtle because mm-hmm. I love Pokemon. Mm-hmm. However, being extra is what my bread and butter is. Are you? Are you an extra? You don't think so? I Not don't think an you're... extra, being extra. I don't feel like you're, you be extra quite often. Really? Maybe on this podcast. I do it all the time. <laughs> How? Name away your extra. Boats. <laughs> Got, got me. You got me. Am I wrong? I can't. I can't argue against boats. Indefutable fact. It's like my hair is a bird. Your argument is yeah. invalid. Boats. We watched the fucking Hurricane Tortilla Vine <laughs> so much. And I feel I, as much as we identified that, you know, that kid probably comes from a, a large place of privilege and whatever. <laughs> Affluent af- uh, home. I identify with that kid child so much because that is the kid i was a lot of the time i would just fucking be ridiculous and say stupid shit all the time super extra is me so why do you need the tissue that makes you extra for five minutes if you're always extra because i'm gonna pick squirtle oh okay (laughs) that was just two i'd use a type of toast because i liked bread a lot i don't know like a like a good sourdough holla Maybe. Uh, toasted hall is delicious. Yeah, put it in the toaster. That's weird. All right. What's our next segment? It's uh, Mary Fuck Kill. Yes, it is. This time it is. The for Jinko certain. Jeans Edition. Oh, no. Levi's, Jinko, or... Wrangler. Wrangler. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. But no, that's not it. It's much worse. Buddy, Though that would be good. Buddy Lee. What if it was just that? Nope. 
All right. We're doing the one we discussed. We didn't... Dis- oh, yeah. No, we did discuss one. That's good. Because I forgot that we discussed one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We came up with this together. Yeah, we prepared. We workshopped this one with the help of Teenage Joe also. Um, he was there, probably. Uh, we have Mary Fuck Kill, Rick Moranis, David Boreanis, and the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Mm, very good, very good, very, very good. good. Rick Moranis, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids star, uh, Ghostbusters, Ghost, Ghostbusters. What else was he in? Who knows? Uh, no. A lot of things. He was. Oh, he was a uh, 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 plants. What was it? Oh yeah, Little Shop of That's Horrors. One. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure. Um, he was also uh, in uh, Second City TV. I don't know what that is. It's a it's a sketch show. John Candy came Ooh, from there. I love it. Yeah. Um, um, along with a whole bunch of other people. Um, he did a character, I, th- I don't think it was Northern, Ex- maybe it was Northern Exposure, but um, him and a dude doing uh, two Canadian beer drinkers. That was very funny. Oh, Strange Brew. Strange Brew. I saw that movie. Correct. It was weird. Uh, that is actually an adaptation of a Hamlet. Oh. Yeah, Strange Brew is, yeah. Uh, from from the uh, position of the grave diggers, the two clowns in the middle of Hamlet. Oh. So they they are the clowns, like witnessing the events of. That feels Hamlet. a lot like the plot of uh, the Big Lebowski a little bit. Also, uh, they're kind of there's all this stuff happening around them. Yeah, and then they're like, "Well, I just uh, need a rug." And that's all. That's all I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, Rick Moranis hasn't been. He, acting he stopped because he, stopped. he wanted to take care of his family yeah uh his kids and also um he just doesn't like scripts anymore yeah he him made... and gene wilder gene wilder stopped acting because he was like nothing's good everything <laughs> sucks you're giving me garbage i'm not gonna do garbage yeah um but he's he's a very funny smart man rick moranis is yeah He's he's great in any role he's in. He's, he's one of those actors that's in enough classics that he doesn't need to work ever again. Yeah, he'll be fine. He was in Brother Bear. Was he? Yeah, him and the other guy the from Strange Brew did uh, two mooses. Oh, that's very. Who, I didn't know that. That's yeah, very funny. Who did? Uh, they they did their those Strange Brew characters in Brother Bear as mooses. Canadians. Yeah. That's right. The joke is Canada. That's the whole joke. <laughs> the punchline and the takedown. <laughs> and the setup. All right. Then we have David Boreanaz. Ah, Bones. Bones. Angel. Angel. Uh, and that's it. That's it. But that, that's a strong backbone of acting. <laughs> Imagine. No, he was. Oh, no, wait. That was like his. That's his whole career is two show. Three shows. Because it was Buffy. Oh, yeah. You, of course. Angel. Yeah. Bones. Bones. That's his life. And he's probably in something new now that I don't know about. Mm, Maybe. They just made so much money on Bones. It's wild. It's, Bones isn't good, right? Like, no. So what happened is the uh, the company that was making Bones was stealing money from the actors saying that it wasn't making any money. What the fuck? Yeah. This is a big, big hold. I've to never do. heard any of this. Because there was like 13 seasons of Bones. Yeah. And every year they're like, oh, man, things aren't things aren't doing great. Mm-hmm. So we can't. We can't pay you guys much, but we're going to renew you and we just, but we can't keep, we can't like raise your, your rates and Uh all this stuff. Turned out the show was fucking doing gangbusters and they were lying to everybody involved. Wow. And, uh, the company got sued and had to pay the actors and the writers and everybody like millions. Way more than they would have earned probably. Uh Well, it, I, I think it was just what they lost, uh-huh. they that what they weren't paid from the success of That's the show. So, like, why would you do that? That's so wild. Yeah, it's a landmark case. Like, it's a, it's kind of a big deal in Hollywood. I've never, I can't believe I've never heard of that. Yeah, look it up. But Bones, I mean, everyone loves Bones, I guess. I, I think it was but a solid it series. I remember. I've never watched my it. entire. <laughs> here's here's the thing. My my mom interested. and my sister. We're watching one episode of Bones once, uh-huh. and they're in some room, and it's making a sound, and Bones and the then David Boreanaz. She doesn't like be called Bones. Well, I don't, I don't know that. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> one do, of them, the, the woman says, much. the woman says like, we gotta, we gotta cancel out the frequency. And like, she's, she put, they both put their hands over their ears and they're just going like, ooh, you, you. <laughs> like, That's fun. And I come in at that moment and I'm like, what the fuck y'all is this show? And then they're just like, uh, uh it's bones. It's Bones, I guess. And I'm like, this show looks fucking not good. Because <laughs> it's it's Zoe Deschanel's sister. Yeah. Older Deschanel. That's her name. That's her name as an actor in the SAG. Yeah. And I think the whole series is just like, there's been a crime. Let's let's take it to... Bo- there's Bones in this crime. <laughs> hey, Bones, don't call me Bones, she says. And then David Duchovny is like... <laughs> <laughs> he's like... There's um, aliens. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha, bones. Ha ha. And she's like, I've solved the case. And he's like, oh, thank God. I love you, but I can't tell you. And then they're like, wee, wee, wee. <laughs> and then it's the end of the episode and, and nobody gets paid the correct amount. That and sounds that's the whole show. Accurate. I've never seen one, but that's what I gather the show is. Let's watch 13 seasons. Okay, of it. let's go. Right now. We'll okay. be right back, everybody. 10 years later that was that was a good show i'm i'm adult joe i was watching too (laughs) and i'm his father i've made even bigger snakes dad you can't you can't just say that oh just just go do your taxes okay i know how to i'm trained in them now well you sure sound like you are i'm trained in bones (laughs) taxes and all new space jinko jeans. <laughs> <laughs> They're jinko jeans with like rings. On rings. Them some, that's exactly right. Some rings. Bullshit. Neon colored rings. Each pocket is an infinite pocket, like it's a bag separate. of holding. I told you those those separate dimensions were a great idea, and you said, "Dad, shut up," and I said, "You'll be sorry, son." And then I put you in one for a couple. Wilds. And I watch Bones. And that's you where you put watch me in Bones, there with a I, DVD box set of Bones. And, and I television. watch Bones at the same time because we're bonding. We're Bones bonding. Bones. We're bonding our Bones. <laughs> <laughs> and then older Dashanel's like, don't call me Bones. Um, <laughs> over and over and over. And then our third thing for the Mary fuck kill <laughs> is the Aurora. Ten years later, the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Beautiful. Hard to get to. Colorful. Hard to obtain unexplained nobody knows really why it's not just because of snow magic it's probable it could be snow magic <laughs> nobody can tell because no one can catch it it's, it's like too a legendary wily. pokemon it's a legendary pokemon of light and wonder <laughs> and it's up there and people are just like mm, this makes me want to drink hot chocolate and snuggle up under a cozy afghan. I want to go there. I probably won't. I want I want to go there. <laughs> I want go. I want go there. You know why you can't catch it? Pretty skylights? It's too big. It's too big to put in, in a, a place. Pokeball. In a Pokeball. <laughs> they were like, Welmer's the biggest Pokemon in the whole MCU. And the <laughs> The Aurora Boy House is like, hold my beer. Hold my, hold my light Cosmo. <laughs> I'm the Aurora Boy House. I like girly space drinks. <laughs> I live in the sky, you see. They only have space drinks up here. Me and David Duchovny are just chilling. <laughs> He's like, I found the truth. It was out here. In the sky. In Alaska? With Where diamonds. is that happening? All of it. Where is Aurora Borealis? All of that place up there. Alaska or is it like Iceland? Yeah. Greenland. Both. Canada. More of it. Keep going. Is it all? Yeah. Really? It's the northern hemisphere. I thought it was a specific spot. Nope. Oh. You can you can catch it at a theater near you. But you can't catch it. But you can never catch it because it's too big and it's sky magic. We've established this. Oh, what if it was just a spell gone wrong? Ah! Like a wizard and King Arthur's wizard was like, I'll stop the dragon and it just made a razzle-dazzle spell. He's like, I'll stop the dragon and celebrate your wedding in the oh! same spell. Oh no, I've bitten off more than I can magically chew. It would have only taken a second to cast two spells. Instead My I... hubris. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's why we figured out why 
<laughs> we figured no scientist could do what the we just Aurora did right Borealis now. Aurora Borealis works. So I would oh, marry God. the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. For its magical infinity. Uh-huh. It's gorgeous. It's sought after. It's simple. It's beautiful. You want to show it off? I want to. I want to be like, hey, that's that's my baby up there. <laughs> it can it can go wherever it wants, and and I'm secure in our relationship because I trust it. This this light show of wonder and winter splendor. But what comes to mind is the the woman who claimed to marry a bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right now. You're like, I'm I'm fine. It's fine. Listen, everything's fine because I'm married to that spectacular magical lights. Where does it go uh in the in the not it's snow? It's not times? my business because it's its own entity. I'll I don't it. own it. I miss it and I love it. I'm marrying the Aurora Borealis. <laughs> I am going to fuck David Duchovny. It's not David Duchovny. You keep <laughs> saying <laughs> You've said it so many times that I'm like, are you joking or not? <laughs> can I can I fuck David to come? Sure. Okay. Don't let me stop you. Great. But I am also going to fuck uh, David Boreanis. 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 With a Z. Um and 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 I feel bad. I just don't think that. Uh, Rick Moranis would be a good lay. I think he's too sweet. He's too nerdy. Well, I mean, he plays nerdy, right? Uh, but he's very funny. But That's um, good. I, I think that he has a, a great legacy, and I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hard choice. <laughs> but... But of the two you of them, like really split halfway through. You look at me and you're like, uh, "I'm doing this." I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Rick Moranis. <laughs> I think he's hilarious, and I love his films. And he's an excellent actor, and he's a, a great human being. But uh, I'm a shallow, he's shallow go. human. And David Boreanaz is hot piece of man. He's yeah. Yeah, I'm also gonna. He's angel. Come on. He's an angel. What do you want from me? I'm I'm human, In and bed. I need to be loved, <laughs> just like anybody else. And I'm gonna fuck him too. Plus, I feel like if I <laughs> if I fucked Rick Moranis, Go on. it would it might break his heart. Why? What? Like unless he unless we understood it was a one night stand. I feel like he's a really sweet man. I like <laughs> you're throwing into contention just every Mary fuck you now. <laughs> I'm just saying. I I think I think it's understood. It's like, hey, we're just fucking. Yeah. I don't think it's a love him and leave him. I don't think Mary fuck kill for 171 previous episodes <laughs> has been about fucking a one night stand. Bye, bye. I'm outie. <laughs> no, come back. And I'm like, see ya. I'm married to a bridge or whatever. <laughs> I'm married to the Loch Ness monster. Fuck you, Godzilla. Okay, uh, go ahead. Fuck, <laughs> fuck Mulder. Go ahead. I'm fucking no. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Angel. I'm gonna fuck Angel. He's a sexy boy and the bones in the guy. canon of Angel. Spoiler alert: If you have sex with him, he turns into a bad guy. Oh, does he? Yes. Why? <laughs> Because it's a, it's a zombie, it's a vampire curse that he has oh. on him or something. Sex makes him. Buffy's mean. very, very good. Even though that sounds very silly, the thing I just said, um, it's She's, not played for laughs. Right. Um, but it's a find, good show. They finally get to fuck, and then he turns into an asshole. Oh no. Um. And I'm gonna marry M Rick Moranis. Yeah, you are. I knew you would. He's you a good saved boy. him. Yeah. He saved him from you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, he's a good boy. He's got a good legacy, <laughs> like you say. And I think man. I think the Earth will be okay without the Aurora Borealis. So it's 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 gonna have to go. Okay. It's gonna be a little sad, and people that saw it will have something extra to treasure. A little less magical. Yeah, but that's okay. Okay. It's like all the old old magic that's also gone, right? Science. <laughs> right, science. Looking at you, science. Right. Way science. to way to ruin all the old magic. The old magic and the new. My name is Adult Joe. <laughs> Hi, Joe. Hello. 
This is my real voice. Oh, that yeah. That was Jimmy. That was Jimmy before. One last one last time. What do you what do you want? For the wanna... last 10 years. And now a word from our sponsor. Hello. It's me, <laughs> Adult Joe, here to sell you Bazooka Joe gum. Oh. Inside every pocket of Jinko jeans that you put in the wash is a packet of gum. But you, you can might, only get it if you wash your jeans. You might think to yourself, Adult Joe. <laughs> you might think to yourself, Adult Joe. And you that may seems ask yourself, bad. Adult That seems Joe. like a, gu- a gum in a pocket is not what you want. This and I might my... say, well, if there wasn't gum in your pocket, you wouldn't need to buy new Jinko jeans from me, Adult ah. Joe. Jinko jeans with the rate of inflation, $1,000. It is 10 years later, after all. It's 1,000 American euros. A lot has changed in the last 10 years. We've been uh, colonized again as America. Whoa. Who colonized um, us? The, 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 the ants. The ants. <laughs> the giant space ants. We also make six-legged Jinko jeans for our <laughs> space ant overlords. Bless them and may the queen forever live. Thank you all for joining us today in the hot tub uh, on this balmy autumn evening. Um if you like our podcast, let everybody else know that you like it because it's fun. Shout it from the heavens. Be like, oh, you got to hear these silly sweet boys talk about jeans for 45,000 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like Jinko jeans, I'm very sorry for you. That must be sad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, if you have any would you rathers for us, please send them to us, uh, thepjccast at gmail.com, or tweet them using hashtag thepjccast. We're also on Instagram and Facebook under the same name, thepjccast. And Twitter. And Twitter also, yeah. And Twitter. That's, that's right. Um, I'd like to thank Brad T. Jonas for uh, drawing our image, and Jordan from the band The Contaminants uh, for composing our theme song. Um we come out every Tuesday without fail. Without rain or sleet or snow. Without it. <laughs> there's that's no not, rain or sleet. Sl- there's internet. no rain or sleet or snow. And that's when we release. Yeah. On Tuesdays. In and the morning. Um, check out the uh, Nerd Rage Great Debates. Oh, yeah. I'm on that. He's on that. And uh, our good friend Tio Mari's on that, too. Tio Mari's been on a couple of our. Yips. Yep. Yeah. A couple of sweet yips. The sweetest apps. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so I'm starting to get pruney and I'm pretty relaxed. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Jimmy and Dane, uh, sort of lost all their energy on this outro, but adult Joe, not adult Joe. I kind of hate him. Never, never runs out of energy because he never had any energy. He sounds like slow and steady wins the race. (laughs) Where are you going to hide your, your drugs now, Joe? You, you lost your jeans. Up my ass, I guess. Oh, I guess that's where they are. That's where, uh, that's, that, that's why they call it God's drug pocket. They put it up your butt, and then... <laughs> <laughs> For another week. <laughs> my name is Dane. I'm Jimmy. And who else? Adult Joe. Have a good night, everyone, <laughs> and get home safe. Goodbye. <laughs> Of au revoir. <laughs>I feel like he's progressively getting more muffled, too. (laughs) He's getting more Buffalo Bill. Everybody say goodbye, Buffalo (laughs) Bill. Put the lotion on the skin. Put the lotion on the skin, or it gets the whole skin. Would you buy my jeans? I'd buy my jeans. I'd buy my jeans. Lay down a jean mattress and (laughs) fuck me on it. Oh, no. Wouldn't you fuck me on denim? I'd fuck me on Please denim. Please stop. <laughs> Would you put the lotion on the denim? That's <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> That'd be a weird one. That'd be a strange one. Moisturize denim. Oh. Hey-oh. <laughs> <laughs>